This is Amy Haas from Clients First Business Solutions. Today I want to show you how to use a data directive to auto print the sales order acknowledgement based on the user updating this auto print ready checkbox. The first step is to determine the name of this field. So I'm going to click on that checkbox, click on help, field help, I'm going to click on the technical details tab of the help file and then I'm going to take note that the DB field is orderhead.autoprintready. Notice the misspelling in orderhead as well. Now I'm going to uncheck this checkbox, save my order, and I'm going to go to the data directives maintenance and create a data directive to auto print this sales order acknowledgement. So I'm going to open the data directive maintenance. I'm going to put my table name in there, order head. I'm going to select new standard directive. I'm going to enter my, the name of my directive. I can assign it to a group or I can create a group, a new group. I'm going to create auto print group and I'm going to save. Then I'm going to click the design button and that's going to bring up the BPM canvas. The canvas is divided into three sections. The right top hand section is where I'm going to put the objects that I want the BPM to execute. The left contains the objects that are available for me to use in this BPM. And this section here allows me to add code for the objects. So the first step is to click on this condition and drag this condition object over onto the canvas. Notice the condition object has a true and a false. So we want our BPM based on a true condition when the auto checkbox gets set to true. This condition will be true and then we want to execute the auto print. So I need to add a condition under, the, under this object. So I'm going to click this new paper down here. I'm going to click the specified field has been changed from any to another. I'm going to click specified field. I'm going to search for my auto print field. There it is. I'm going to click that checkbox, click OK. Notice that that field now is displayed here. So when the TT order head dot auto print ready field has been changed from any, any is fine, I'm going to leave that, to another, I'm going to click another. I'm going to uncheck the any value and I'm going to say when that changes to true. Now I'm going to drag the auto print object over onto the canvas. And now I'm going to specify what report is going to print upon that condition being true. So I'm going to click the specified report parameter. The report table level is going to indicate which reports are going to be displayed upon the search. So order head is the primary table. That's, I want to leave it as that. I'm going to click the search button. I'm going to select the order acknowledgement. Click OK. Then I'm going to click the specified options. I'm going to change this so we can see our work. And I'm going to put a description. I'm going to apply those changes. And now I'm going to click on the report parameter so I can tell the BPM which order acknowledgement to print. So I'm going to go down to this order list parameter and you can see that this is a string field. So I'm going to use the specified expression. I'm going to click on specified. And I want to enter the order number on here. So I'm going to click on the TT order head order number field. Now this order number field you can see here from the 123 is a number field. So I need a string. So I'm going to come over here to these functions. 
the string function and I'm going to double click on the to string and now you can see we have tt order head row dot order number to string. I'm going to click OK and I'm also going to select this SSRS render for. And this is also expecting a string value. I'm going to put a constant in there and I'm just going to make that PDF. And then I'm going to apply that change. I'm going to click OK. And now what I need to do is link all of my objects together over here. So we do that with the condition. And I'm going to start at the start node. I'm going to click on one of these little arrows, drag it down to the condition, one of the arrows, release the mouse, and that line will be drawn. Now I want to select the true condition. So I'm going to start on the left-hand side on this arrow. I'm going to drag over to the auto print arrow and that links our objects together. Now I'm going to save and exit. I'm going to enable this BPM and I'm going to save it and then I'm going to close it. And now I'm going to go back to my, I mean, my sales order entry screen. I'm going to click the auto print ready checkbox and I'm going to click save and our order acknowledgement will appear. So here's our order acknowledgement that came up. So I hope this has been helpful and thank you for listening.